بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين نحمده ونسبحه ونقدسه على آلائه ونعمائه ونشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأن سيدنا محمدا عبده ورسوله أرسله بالهدى ودين الحق ليظهره على الدين كله اللهم صل وسلم وبارك وترحم على محمد وآل محمد كأفضل ما صليت وسلمت وباركت وترحمت على إبراهيم وآل إبراهيم في العالمين إنك حميد مجيد وصل اللهم وسلم على خلفاء نبيك وأوصيائه وأهل بيته وأحبته عليا أمير المؤمنين وقائد الغر المحجلين وعلى البضعة الطاهرة فاطمة الزهراء سيدة نساء العالمين وعلى سبط نبي الرحمة وسيد شباب أهل الجنة الحسن والحسين عليهم السلام وعلى علي بن الحسين ومحمد بن علي وجعفر بن محمد وموسى بن جعفر وعلي بن موسى ومحمد بن علي وعلي بن محمد والحسن بن علي والخلف الهادي المهدي عجل الله تعالى فرجه وسهل مخرجه وجعلنا من أنصاره وعوانه عباد الله وإماء الله أوصيكم وأوصي نفسي المقصرة المذنبة بتقوى الله ولزوم أمره بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل أعوذ برب الفلق من شر ما خلق ومن شر غاسق إذا وقب ومن شر النفاثات في العقد ومن شر حاسد إذا حسد صدق الله العلي العظيم One of the common problems that we have in the community and many people suffer from this in, in the midst of our societies, Muslim societies, even non-Muslim societies, is the problem of black magic and witchcraft, the hasad, the black magic. Many people suffer from that. Many people are enchanted, affected, they, their lives become miserable because of the black magic. And this black magic has been discussed by ulama, by imams, by the scholars, by religious books, by the Holy Quran, by the Hadith. Some people say this is unrealistic, this is a myth, this is superstition, I don't believe in this. No, but the Quran speaks about this. Two chapters in the Quran. At least two chapters, there are many other verses. وَإِنْ يُكَادُوا الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا وَإِنْ يَكَادُوا الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا لَيُزْلِقُونَكَ بِأَبْصَارِهِمْ لَمَّا سَمِعُوا الذِّكْرِ They're going to touch you with their black magic, with their eyes. لَمَّا سَمِعُوا الذِّكْرِ وَيَقُولُونَ إِنَّهُ لَمَجْنُونَ وَمَا هُوَ إِلَّا ذِكْرٌ لِلْعَالَمِينَ So it has a reality, it has a truth. God speaks about this. God speaks about black magic and its effects and its disasters. There are some people who, who cast a spell. In the West, they call them, you know, <clears throat> witchcraft or wizards or, or witches. But there are some people. There are some people who have, they master this art. It's an art. It's an art. It's a profession. So they cast a spell on the person and his or her life is going to turn into a disaster. Sometimes the marriages fall apart. Sometimes peop two people who love each other, they are together for many years. They have children, they have family. All of a sudden, something happens to them. They don't love each other anymore. Sometimes someone is successful in his business, in his job. He loses his business. He loses his job. Sometimes he loses his health. Sometimes they get anxiety, they get depression, they get mental illness, physical illness. So it happens, it happens. This is a reality. And the Quran speaks about that. Now some people ask, where is God's justice? God doesn't see that this is wrong? My friends, in this life, this dunya is based on two things. On khair and shar. In this dunya, there is khair, goodness, and there is evil. In dunya, there is angels and there is Satan. God created both. This dunya cannot run with one of them. We don't appreciate the value of the angels until we experience shaitan. 
We don't appreciate the value of goodness and khair until we experience evil and wickedness and shar. So God created both of them. But God at the same time, when he creates sickness, he creates with it what? Cure. Cure at the same time. The hadith says there is no sickness God created without a cure. But sometimes we don't find the cure because we are lazy. But if we are serious, hardworking people, intelligent, we can find the cure. God says you have to search for the cure. You cannot get a cure unless you work hard for it. So God says there is a cure. The Prophet says, أُنزِلَتْ عَلَيَّ آيَاتٌ لَمْ يَنزِلْ عَلَيَّ مِثْلَهُنْ I have received revelations, ayat from my Lord. Nothing compared to nothing. They are special. And he says these ayat are al-mu'awwadatayn. Al-mu'awwadatayn are the two last chapters in the Quran. Chapter 113, chapter 114. The last two chapters. وَلَعُوذُ بِرَبِّ الْفَلَقِ And وَلَعُوذُ بِرَبِّ nas. So the Prophet asked his community, he said to one of his Sahaba, his community, Whenever you wake up in the morning, begin your day with the Mu'awwadatayn. Whenever you go to bed, end your day with the Mu'awwadatayn. One of the supplications, du'as, ta'qibat of Fajr prayers. Fajr has a beautiful, probably, probably the most beautiful ta'qibat is the one that we recite at Fajr. After Salat al-Fajr. وَعِيدُ نَفْسِي وَدِينِي وَأَهْلِي وَمَالِي وَوُلْدِي وَمَا رَزَقَنِي رَبِّي وَخَوَاتِيمِ عَمَلِي وَجِيرَانِي وَمَنْ يَعْنِينِي أَمْرُهُ I protect all those. My family, my kids, my home, my children, my neighborhood, my city, my society, myself, my soul. بِاللَّهِ الْوَاحِدِ الْأَحَدِ الْفَرْدِ الصَّمَدِ الَّذِي لَمْ يَلِدْ Three chapters. قُلُوا اللَّهُ أَحَدْ بالله الواحد الأحد الفرد الصمد الذي لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا أحد وبرب الفلق من شر ما خلق ومن شر غاسق إذا وقب ومن شر النفاثات في العقد ومن شر حاسد إذا حسد وبرب الناس ملك الناس إله الناس من شر الوسواس الخناس الذي يوسوس في صدور الناس من الجنة والناس Begin your day with this. Don't leave home. Once you do the fajr, protect yourself. You know how many times we are exposed to dangers? Every hour, every minute, us, our children, our homes, our belongings, our health, our business, our friends, our community members. Protect yourself. كَانَ رَسُولُ اللَّهِ صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَآلِهِ وَسَلَّمُ كَانَ يُرْقِي يُرْقِي In one of the hadith says يُرْقِي Yurqi to recite dua, ruqya, ruqya. It has many names. These duas, sometimes they call them hijab, sometimes ruqya, sometimes tamima, sometimes ta'weedah, sometimes hirz. Kana yurqi al-hasana wal-husayn bihatayn al-suratayn. Every time he sees hasan and husayn, he recites, Qul a'udhu rabbi al-falaq, qul a'udhu rabbi al-nas. This is our leader, our prophet. So we have to learn how to protect ourselves. One of the ways to protect yourself is sadaqah. Sadaqah. The Prophet emphasizes the significance of sadaqah, the importance of sadaqah. He says, Sallallahu Alaihi wa Wasallam, Bakiru bis sadaqah. Pay it before you get in trouble, before you get yourself in it. Don't wait until the disaster is arriving. Pay it. Bakiru bis sadaqah. Bakiru means pay it early. بَاكِرُوا بِالصَّدَقَ فَإِنَّ الْبَلَايَ لَا تَتَخَطَّاهَا Calamities, disasters cannot surpass the sadaqah. Sadaqah is the strongest weapon, strongest shield to protect yourself, your home, your community. And then my friends, one of the things that Ahlul Bayt teach us to read, to protect ourselves against the black magic, against all sorts of evil things, الثمانون آية حرز الثمانون آية this is a hirz, protection, dua, special dua, which has been made of 80 different verses throughout the Quran. You can find it, Google it. Google it, hirz al thamanun ayah. For those who do not read Arabic, they can read the transliteration of it. 
Transliteration means you read Arabic but with Latin alphabet. Protect yourself, not just against the black magic, against any problem, whenever you have a problem in your life. We seek help from Allah and last but not least, a gift from our eighth Imam, Al Imam Ali ibn Musa Rida alayhi salatu wassalam. Our Imam says, إِذَا أَرَدْتَ الْخُرُوجَ مِنْ مَنْزِلِكَ فَقُلْ Whenever you leave your house, about to leave your house, teach your wife, teach your children, your grandchildren, your friends. Never forget, never forget, once you board the car, before you switch on the engine, before you move, say the following three very short sentences. قُلْ بِسْمِ اللَّهِ وَلَا حَوْلَ وَلَا قُوَّةَ إِلَّا بِاللَّهِ تَوَكَّلْتُ عَلَى اللَّهِ Very easy. Bismillah. He says, فَإِنَّكَ إِنْ قُلْتْ نَادَى مَلَكٌ An angel is going to answer you. فِي قَوْلِكَ بِسْمِ اللَّهِ When you say Bismillah, هُدِيتَ أَيُّهَا الْعَبْدِ Today you, you are going to be guided. Hudit from Hidayah. Who is guiding you? Not the GPS. God is guiding you. وَفِي قَوْلِكَ لَا حَوْلَ وَلَا قُوَّةَ إِلَّا بِاللَّهِ وُقِيتْ أَيُّهَا الْعَبْدِ When you say لَا حَوْلَ وَلَا قُوَّةَ إِلَّا بِاللَّهِ You're going to be وُقِيتْ protected. So the first one is guided. The second one is protected. The third one وَفِي قَوْلِكَ تَوَكَّلْتُ عَلَى اللَّهِ كُفِيتَ أَيُّهَا الْعَبْدِ You have been sufficed. You don't need any, the help of anyone. God is helping you. And then the shaytan is going فَيَقُولُ الشَّيْطَانُ حِينَئِذٍ Shaitan is going to say, scream, li bi'abdin? How can I have access to a servant, abd, hudiyah, wa wuqiyah, wa kufi? This person, God is guiding him, protecting him, and suffices him. How can I reach out to him? I can't. I am disabled. Remember, Bismillah, wa la hawla wa la quwwata illa billah, tawakkaltu ala Allah. Inshallah, tomorrow, Saturday, we celebrate the Milad of the master of the ladies of this universe, Sayyidat Nisa al Alameen, Sayyida Fatima al-Zahra, Salamullahi alayha. And when you leave after the Friday prayers, tomorrow, inshallah, and today, today they're going to have a pre-sale of raffle tickets, which has very many good gifts for the husbands and for the wives and for the couples. And they're going to sell roses, inshallah, because your wife is waiting for your roses today. Don't forget, if you want to have nice lunch or nice dinner or nice something else. <laughs> so please give them roses. You're going to find some. And hot lunches also for you to purchase. And this money is going to go to three places. One, to sustain the celebration of Fatima to Zahra tomorrow, inshallah, at 7 p.m. The second part of it goes to the masjid. The third part is going to feed the homeless people because a group of our wonderful people here are going to go on Sunday to downtown Los Angeles to take hot meals to the hungry and the homeless. So please help them out with that. And for those of you who at, who'd like to go to Hajj, inshallah, Hajj 2020, get one of these flyers when, when you leave at the door, inshallah. Allahumma khfar al mu'minina wal mu'minat. والمسلمين والمسلمات الأحياء منهم والأموات تابع اللهم بيننا وبينهم بالخيرات اللهم وحد كلمة المسلمين على الخير والبر والصلاح والتقوى يا أرحم الراحمين من على مرضانا بالشفاء والعافية وعجل في فرج إمامنا وسيدنا صاحب العصر والزمان وإلى أرواح المؤمنين والمؤمنات والشهداء ثواب الفاتحة مع الصلاة على محمد وآل محمد